Hey, what's up? Um, I wanted to test out my new um, Sennheiser um, G3, the wireless uh, system here. This is the um, EW100 pack. It comes with a, um, this is the transmitter, the, the wireless transmitter. You would hook a um, lavalier mic to this and, you know, clip it onto the, um, the subject. And then, of course, here's the, um, uh, I'm sorry, this is the receiver, and this is the transmitter. There we go. Yeah, the transmitter you would hook onto the subject. The receiver you would hook up to the camera. And I'm using my, of course, right now it's my Canon XA20's uh, internal microphone that you're hearing from. And here's the uh, SK100 uh, transmitter for your um, XLR microphones. And of course, this works with XLR microphones that doesn't need phantom power. Um, but before we get to testing that, I wanted to show you from my other YouTube videos of the Rode microphone, which I really like the um, the form factor. It's long. Um, it's great. You know, it's omnidirectional. Um, when I when when I hook this up to straight into my camera using SLR, it you know it, it works fine. It it works great, but. When I hook it up to my zoom, it's not that um, it's not that great. You have to turn up the gain like all the way to ten, and then when you do that, you hear um, the ambient noise, you know, the, the, the feedback. So it's not that great. Um, so right after this, we will connect this microphone, this um, this Rode Reporter microphone, to my Zoom Five. Just do a little quick demo for it, and I'll also hook up this. Um, $10 microphone to that also and um, and I'll sync up in a post after that I'll hook this uh, the Rode Porter microphone um, to this transmitter here and um, we'll see how it sounds and I'm not going to monitor it I'm just going to um, monitor it in post so all right let's go okay up first is the um, the $10 microphone and it's it's good for um, a lot of like noisy area because um, you have to get this microphone really up close to your mouth um, and, 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 and you can hear it really clearly um, it delimits all the background noises so as I pull the microphone away you you don't pick up my voice as much so this is really good for uh, noisy environments and um, you know, I, I guess it's good for vocals. Uh, you know, I'm definitely not a singer, so I'm, I'm not going to sing or, or, or use it that way. Um, but, you know, what I use it for is like podcast and, um, and so on. You know, just put it on a little table stand and it works that way. So now I'm going to switch over to the Rode Reporter. Oh, real quick, the gain is about six. I'm not going to adjust the gain at all or anything like that. Um, so let's switch this over to the uh, uh, Rode Reporter. Now I'm on the road reporter, and before, I mean, the, the, the old mic, I was just about the same distance, and of course I'm not monitoring it, but you can probably hear the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, in an interview environment, the, the, the mic would be about chest high or so, so you want it to be about here, and I'm talking normal as I would, you know, um, and, and you don't have to stick the mic, you shouldn't have to stick the mic right up here to, to, to the, your subject or even to yourself, you shouldn't have to um, um, use this mic like this. It's it's an interview microphone, you know. So as an interview microphone, it should be about chest high. Um, you know, you can move it and point it that way. But again, I'm not monitoring this, and we'll, we'll see how it sounds. But um, you know, if I'm right, you you can't hear me as much, um, you know, as I would like to be be heard. But anyways. So now we, we're going to switch it over to the Sennheiser wireless system, and this will be my first time trying it out ever, so hopefully it turns out right. Okay, so now I'm on my uh, Rode Reporter here, and um, you know I'm just using a long aux, aux cable right here. It's just a regular aux cable to hook up to uh, my camera's input. I'm not using the XLR input. And, um, and right now the microphone, the Rode Reporter, is about chest height. You can see the um, 
the uh, transmitter right here is hooked on. It's securely tightened. And um, I can see the gain from my LCD screen. It's, you know, it's pretty good. It, it, it's, it's peaking sometimes. So this is chest height. I'm talking my normal voice. Um, so let's uh, test this out. So on the receiver here, I'm going to adjust the... Um, the audio here through let's see if we go to AF out right and right now it's at zero D DB so let's switch this to minus six okay so right now it's at minus six um, roll reporter microphone at minus six DB now let's switch it again All right, this is now minus 12. Uh, Road reporter, microphone, minus 12. And I see the, um, the, the, the gain volume on my LCD screen. It's about half, a little over half sometimes. Um, uh, let's go the other way. Okay, right now we're at plus 6 dB. And I can see that, yeah, I'm probably peaking right now, um, you know, through my gain level here. Um, let's see what 12 does. Okay, right now I'm at 12. Um, I'm, I'm very curious to see how this sounds like. So now I'm going to switch back to zero. All right, I'm back down to zero. And I'm going to put the um, receiver down. Now... The microphone's about chest height, the road reporter, and if I move it, you know, if I try to point it to my talent and see how that sounds. Of course, you, with this road reporter, you shouldn't have to point at your talent. You should just leave it in between you and, and just, um, you know, speak at your normal volume voice. Um, but I am excited about this, and um, we'll have to see how this goes. Um, I won't test the wireless clip-on receiver. Uh, you know, there's lots of videos about that already, so I'm not interested in that. I was more interested in how to get this road reporter to to sound good. I, I was I was disappointed when I was connected to my uh, Zoom. It, um, you know, I thought it was a default with my road reporter. I, I sent it back to Amazon. They sent me another one. I was getting the same results, um, you know, with my Zoom. Now. When it was connected straight to my camera, it was fine. So I did a little research and I found that um, you know some other people had similar complaints about the reporter onto the um, onto their uh, Tascam DR40. You know, of course, this is a Zoom Zoom H5. But um, from what I understand, people are talking like uh, it's the preamps, the preamps in in these um, handheld mixer. I guess you want to call it isn't isn't strong enough. Again, this this doesn't need phantom power, so I don't know what the strength of, of the preamps have to do with anything um, with the volume of, of, of this microphone. So, but it does make sense now. Um, I don't know if it makes sense, but but if, if, if this Rode reporter sounds good with this wireless um, uh, transmitter, the Sennheiser wireless transmitter, I think, I think it, I think I'll be happy with this Rode Reporter. I, I was almost tempted to return this microphone, get a Sennheiser 46. Um, you know, of course, the Sennheiser 46 was 200 bucks. This Rode Reporter was 130. Um, but I think if I would have got the Sennheiser 46 and use it with my Zoom, now with the research that I just did, I think I would have gotten the same results with the Zoom. So um, um, we'll see how this sounds like. Now. Um, I did have trouble removing this um, the the transmitter. I I unscrewed this all the way, and and I yanked on it, yanked on it, and I and, and I pulled, and I thought I was going to break it, and it was just stuck. It was just stuck. Well, what I found out is first you have to, you know, I I uh, somebody on Amazon um, had a review, and and they complained that this was stuck to the uh, microphone. So they couldn't get it out. They called, they, they emailed support, and, you know, after a week, nothing, you know, support didn't reply back. Well, in uh, the comments, one of the persons says, 
you have to unscrew the um, unscrew it, um, and then and then you'll find a little silver tab there at, at the bottom. And then what you do is you're gonna um, put in like a little metal um, tool or something small. You have to push it in, and then it releases this. Um, you know, it releases the microphone from the uh, transmitter. Um, you know, and I'll show you through 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 a video uh, here doing this, but. I was I was struggling, you know, trying to trying to yank it out, and I was afraid I was going to break both the uh, the road reporter and the transmitter. So so I'm glad I I stopped myself after like three or four tries of just you know pulling on this with all I got, you know, and it wouldn't come out. So um, if any of you guys have that same trouble, just do what I did with a with a little small pin, and um, that will um, take care of it. Um, I should probably talk. Uh, um, I'll put it in the description too. That that way, if people searches for um, Sennheiser, you know, they um, you know, it's stuck to the to the microphone. People will find it on uh, YouTube. But anyways, uh, I hope this uh, review was helpful for you guys. And uh, leave me any um, questions in the comments.